Education for all South African students is not possible in the country. These are the words of the Higher Education Deputy Minister Mduduzi Manana, who was speaking at the launch of a second national student financial aid scheme fundraising campaign at the University of Fort Hare in Alice in the Eastern Cape. The campaign asked the public and corporate sector to donate money via SMS to beef up the coffers of NSFAS. To donate, you can SMS NSFAS to 49919. The demand for financial assistance by students continues to outstrip the supply. Last year, the government added a further 4.5 billion rent to the NSFAS coffers, but more is being done. If this commission is to arrive at a decision that indeed we must progressively introduce free education, it will have to be free education for the poor, because the reality is we will not have the money to fund all South Africans. It's just not uh, uh, feasible. In the campaign aims to raise 50 million rent during the 2016-2017 financial year. NSFAS has also managed to recover 120 million rent through loan repayments. A campaign like this needs to be publicized and the SABC, that's why the SABC Foundation is critical because with the SABC Foundation then we'll be able to run ads on radio, ads on TV and um, uh, some sponsored uh, by other partners, those ads that we're going to run. That's why the partnerships are quite critical to make sure that people are aware and they understand this campaign. A part of the 4.5 billion rent government injected will cater for the students known as the missing middle, those who are not poor enough to qualify but cannot afford the tuition. This group of students is also looking for assistance. Many have already paid their registration fees. My mother is working as a nurse and he, she can't afford to pay my tuition in the university. And for the time being, I was waiting for NS, for NSFAS to, to pay for my studies and to answer me. A call was also made to students to refrain from violence and vandalism when they protest for free education. Busiswe Jamsana, SABC News, Alice.